Congratulations on your new job. Here's five things you need to do on your first day to be successful. Hey, if you're new to this series, like and subscribe. And if you're a developer or a data science guy and you're still looking for a job, contact my friend Jason DiPietro at mjdpresources.com. He's actively looking for data science and software guys right now. So the first day of your first programming job is going to be like a whirlwind. You're going to be talking to different people. You're going to be filling out forms. You're going to be setting up your computer. Here are five things you need to do in order to be successful your first day. Number one, go out and buy yourself a pen, a notepad, and a watch. I'm not kidding. Don't rely on your phone to look at the time or take notes because there might be times like during meetings when it's just not appropriate for you to take your phone out. And your first week, you do not want to be late or forget anything. So buy yourself a physical watch and make sure you always have a pen and a notepad handy to write stuff down. Two, your first week will probably be spent setting up your computer and your development environment. Please, please, please write everything down. Odds are a senior developer is going to sit with you and walk you through the process, everything from how to set up your environment to how to pull down from Git to how to put in a Jira ticket. This senior developer is giving you a lot of good information. So when he tells you something, write it down on paper. And then later when it's appropriate, take a picture of that note with your phone so you always have it. The best way of making an impression on developers is to never ask one of the senior developers something twice. Three, abide by the four hour rule. If you're ever stumped on something, give yourself four hours to try to figure it out by yourself. And after four hours, go and talk to a senior developer or one of your team members. This provides a good balance between you trying to research something and you wasting the whole day. The last thing you want is to be in your daily sprint stand-up meeting the next day and you can't explain why you're behind schedule or why you didn't go talk to anybody. But the other last thing you don't want is for you to be that guy who's always going to the senior developers asking them questions. So spend four hours trying to research something and then if you can't figure it out, go find a senior developer and ask. Four, don't do anything personal on your work computer. Your work computer is not your computer. Your work computer is the company's computer. Be sure to read and abide by your company's acceptable use policy. Now, it might be okay to browse the internet during the day, but don't forget the perception is reality. If you're ever late on finishing a task and your boss has seen you on the internet all day, he's gonna put two and two together. And one final thing, don't plug anything into your work computer that wasn't given to you by work. The last thing you want is to cause a virus on your first day. So if you want to charge your phone, bring a wall adapter. Five, odds are your engineering manager is probably going to take you out to lunch with the rest of your team. But just in case he doesn't do that, bring soup or a sandwich, something you can heat up in a microwave that won't go bad. And have some money on you just in case he does take you out to lunch and doesn't pay. I've never seen that happen, but I've heard stories. And when you get there, be nice to everybody. You don't know who is going to be in control of your destiny, uh, especially support personnel such as uh, office managers or receptionists, they tend to know what's going on in the office. And if you ever need post-it notes or a special kind of pen, they're gonna be your go-to person to get that resource for you. Finally, check out my video on the seven financial steps for new developers. This has a lot of information that I wish I had when I first started working. Um, and if you're in the US, be prepared that your paycheck is gonna be 25 to 30% less than what you think it's gonna be because of all the taxes that are being taken out. So keep that in mind if you're relocating and have to budget for that. Congratulations on your new job. Now let's turn that software code into money.